assalamu alaikum dear students this is our lecture number 2 we are going through the chapter number 1 introduction to psychology and the topic which we are going to study today is goals of psychology psychology has four main goals psychologists differ with the respect to the goals they emphasize they are concerned with one or more of the four basic goals of psychology beyond that psychology's ultimate goal is to gather knowledge to benefit humanity there are basic four goals of psychology number 1 describe number 2 explain number 3 predict and number 4 control so we are going to discuss these four goals of psychology in detail number 1 the first goal of psychology is to describe behavior okay let's see what is description of behavior the first goal of psychology is to describe behavior describing things is something we do every single day with no conscious thought or effort but describing in psychology has a slightly different meaning than the describing we do in our daily lives describing a problem an issue or behavior is the first goal of psychology what is description description helps psychologist to distinguish between normal and abnormal behavior by describing the behavior of individuals we gain understanding and perspective on human and animal behaviors actions and thoughts psychologists use a variety of research tools or methods such as case studies survey methods self test and observational methods to achieve the goal of description so describing behavior involves the use of different tools of psychology different methods of investigation we use different methods to describe a behavior what what is that behavior theek okay? hai we use different tests different verbal reports different observational reports to describe that behavior description also involves the naming and classif classification of behavior when we are going to describe behavior we name that behavior we classify that behavior and description is based on systematic careful procedures in contrast to haphazard description of common sense so this description of behavior in psychology is not an haphazard uh, method but it is a careful systematic controlled method in which we describe certain behaviors according to certain marked uh, criteria only after we have described the behavior of any phenomena or we have described uh, any uh, related behavior then we can move to the other goals of psychology so description involves describing in detail that what is this behavior we classify that behavior we name that behavior we apply a test on a test to Uh, confirm that behavior and so on second goal of psychology is the explanation of behavior we explain that behavior okay how do we explain different behaviors we explain the behavior by going into the details we take help of existing theories or knowledge to explain that behavior there are so many theories in psychology which describe different behaviors and mental processes or personality traits so we take the help of those theories to describe that behavior that why this behavior is occurring what are the actual reasons of that behavior what are the actual uh, physical or psychological uh, manifestations of that those that behavior in some cases if there are no theories or researches that can explain such behavior psychologists make tentative statements called hypothesis to test that behavior in description for example when we want to explain certain behavior we propose a hypothesis that why this behavior occurs and then we work on that hypothesis to explain that why certain behavior is occurring why what are the certain manifestations of that behavior that how or how we can analyze that behavior explaining behavior goes hand in hand with describing it this helps in providing answers to questions about why people react in certain way or why they do the things they do 
or what are the factors which affect their personality and their mental health, their actions, and so on. With the help of scientific experiments, to make sure they get the same results every time, psychologists formulate theories to explain aspects of human behavior and psychology. There are many theories that have been developed by psychologists throughout the history of psychology. By using those theories or with the help of those theories, we can analyze human behavior in detail. Many of these theories are well known and we have been accepted by scientists and scholars as these theories serve to explain parts of human behavior. The third goal of psychology is prediction of behavior, predict the behavior. Another important goal of psychology is or another goal of psychologists is to forecast the future events or to forecast a person's behavior that what will be the behavior of certain person in future? What are the present indications of a future behavior? Why a person is behaving like this and what will be the outcomes of this behavior in future? By looking at past observed behavior, psychologists aim to predict how that behavior will appear again in the future or whether other people might exhibit the same behavior or not. By being able to successfully predict a pattern of behavior, psychologists can better understand the underlying causes of our actions. Okay, by prediction, we mean that we forecast certain behaviors of individuals. By forecasting the behaviors, we can analyze the causes, that these are the causes or these are the factors which will result in certain behaviors. Prediction also gives psychologists the ability to change or control the behavior which leads us to the last goal of psychology. Okay, so prediction also gives us, the con gives us the ability to control behavior. When we can predict that these, these circum a person being provided with these circumstances, he will show this sort of behavior, then we can change or control that behavior also. If I want you to learn certain behavior, so with your present behavior, I can predict that by these stimulus uh, representations you will be able to show certain behavior the last goal of psychology is control or modify behaviors the behaviors that need to be corrected are modified through the help of psychological techniques we modify we control certain behaviors by using psychological techniques by using psychological therapies or other principles Specifically, we can use different sort of behavior therapies to modify, to change, or to, uh, to uh, represent a new sort of behavior in you. Psychology aims to change, influence, or control behavior to make positive, constructive, meaningful, and lasting changes in people's life, and to influence their behavior for the better. So, control and modification of behavior is the final goal of psychology. Let's have an example. Someone did something they were not supposed to do and this had a negative impact on their life. You may want to try to help or resolve the issue and naturally the following questions might run through your mind. What happened? Okay. So this question, what happened, comes under the goal of psychology, the description goal of psychology. We will describe that what happened, why, why did she do that? This comes under the heading of explanation. What would happen if she did this? This is prediction. And number four, what can she do next time to have a different outcome? Change and modification. The main difference between us asking these questions versus a psychologist or mental health professional is the high level of education and training in the explanation, prediction and change process. We ask these questions on a superficial level, whereas they are trained professionals who specialize in finding ways to facilitate lasting positive changes in individuals. So there are four means of going to psychology. Let's, have, let's summarize, summarize these four goals. Number one, description of behavior. What is the nature of that? describe that behavior by naming that behavior by uh, by analyzing that behavior number two understanding 
that behavior second is the explanation of that behavior why is this behavior occurring you will explain it number three prediction of that behavior we can predict when it will occur again or not and number four control of that behavior that what conditions will affect the behavior how, how we can control that behavior is it clear so these were the four goals of psychology and we close today's second lecture thank you and allah hafiz